Hey everybody, welcome back. It is day 119 as a beekeeper. A lot of stuff to talk about today. I have made a decision about the Varroa treatment and I have decided that I'm going to treat my bees. Now, I'm gonna talk about why I decided to treat, what I'm gonna use, why I chose what I chose, and then we're going to treat the bees. That's what this video is gonna be about. My last video got a lot of comments. It seems like it was pretty controversial. We had a lot of people on the side of natural beekeeping, stay natural, don't treat, and a lot of people on the side of treat, treat, treat. You, you have to, to kill the Varroa or your bees aren't gonna make it. Now, on my property here, I am a pesticide-free farmer, gardener. I don't treat with pesticides. I don't, I don't treat with herbicides. I don't do anything, especially anything that could harm bees, but basically I don't put anything in my yard that I wouldn't put in my mouth. That's the kind of person I am, and that's how I treat my property. Now, however, this is my first time keeping bees. It's my first time with any kind of livestock, animal, living, breathing thing that I have to take care of. And I put a lot of hard work, I put a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of sort of uh, mental caring into this hive. And I've come down on the side of needing to treat because I want my bees to make it through the winter. So all that being said, what was my decision? What did I decide to treat with? I am going to be using Mite Away Quick Strips. This is a formic acid treatment. It's a seven day treatment uh, that I'm going to do for you in just a couple minutes. But first, I just wanna talk about uh, sort of why I went this direction and why I decided to treat in the first place. So treatment versus no treatment. What was my thinking? Obviously, I would prefer not to treat. I would prefer not to have to treat. So the argument for, for not treating is to read Michael Bush, who I do like and I've read a lot of, and go with no treatment for Varroa by using small cells and all these other things you can do. I, I am a natural, I have natural comb in here. I have no, no foundation. This is all foundationless, natural built comb by the bees. I, I let them do what they wanted. There's worker size cells and there's drone size cells all in the same frame. It's all mixed throughout the hive. Now, I don't know the genetics of my bees. I don't know where they came from. I bought them from, uh, I bought them from a supplier who bought them from another supplier who bought them from a breeder somewhere, probably in Georgia or, or someplace in the South. So I don't know the lineage of my bees. I don't know the genetics. I don't know if they're strong bees. I don't know if they're hygienic bees. I don't know if, if they would survive the winter. So I can't just like let them die. You know, I can't just not treat and hope for the best because I'm probably gonna come out here in the spring and have a pile of dead bees because I know what our winters are like here. We've got six to seven months of solid freezing temperatures. It's cold here, so the bees are already gonna have a hard time. I don't want them to have to deal with, with parasites and, and mites and diseases and things that the mites bring in, uh, in addition to the cold and, and the, the who knows what for the winter. So I wanna give them a fighting chance and that's why I decided to do a treatment to go for the Varroa. So there's two, two tricks that people have talked about in the comments that I do plan on trying in the future. This is my first hive. I hadn't even thought about Varroa when I started this. So my next hive, I'm going to try and plan ahead. I'm gonna try having a specific drone frame in my hive, or at least a partial drone frame that is drone size foundation, so the bees will build on the drone foundation, which will hopefully attract some mites into that, that I can then deal with directly uh, by, by just removing from the hive. The other thing I plan on doing is if I do get, ever have to buy a new queen or get another you know, package or something, I'm gonna go with a VSH, uh, you know, hygienically bred queen that, uh, that will lay eggs and, and produce more offspring that are more hygienic, more, you know, they keep their hives cleaner, uh, that go after the mites a little better. So those are two things that I do plan on doing with my next hives, my future hives. So what I'm left with is this hive. I have this hive and I'm in this situation. I have, a, I have what looks like a pretty heavy mite load. Um, I have six months of winter right around the corner and it's my only hive. There's nothing else here. If I come out here in the spring and there's just a pile of dead bees out here, I'm gonna be pretty bummed out knowing that I could have tried to treat, I could have tried to help them, 
and that I didn't do that and then they all died. I could treat and they could die anyway, but at least I feel like I tried something to deal with the mites. My instinct is to help the bees in any way I can. Uh, some people say, oh well, if you help the bees that way, you're going to produce weaker, you know, you're going to have weaker bees because you're helping the bees, they're not going to be strong. Uh, other people pointed out that that's kind of silly because the genes that they have are the genes they have. I can't, by, by helping them kill some Varroa, they're not going to change their genetic makeup and become stronger or weaker. They're going to stay the same. Uh, if I help deal with the Varroa, that's a good thing. Uh, yes, if I had 10 generations of bees and I kept uh, selectively, you know, going with the bees that make it through the winter, then yes, they probably would strengthen over time. But these bees right now, is it's what I have. These are the bees I have, these are the bees I'm going to treat, and these are the bees I'm going to help to get through the winter. That's how I made my decision. So why did I decide to go with the Mite Away Quick Strips formic acid treatment as opposed to oxalic acid vaporization or another kind of strip or, or treatment? Well, with the oxalic acid, uh, it, it requires a bit of an investment. You have to get the, the gear, the wand, uh, the, the vaporizer. You have to get a battery. You got to get everything hooked up. You have to learn how to do it. Um, it's more time consuming. Oxalic acid is a three time uh, treatment over three weeks. You're not, you can't treat if you have honey supers on. Uh, there's a lot of drawbacks to oxalic acid that I didn't want to deal with being a first time beekeeper with one hive. So why did I go with the Mite Away Quick Strip? Why did I decide on formic acid? Uh, lots of reasons. First off, it's, it's a one time treatment. You put it in, it's one shot, it does its job. You put it in for seven days and then you take it out. That's it. It's very inexpensive. I bought this box. This is two full treatments, so there are four strips in here. Uh, and with shipping, this was about $20 for this. So this is treatment for now and possibly treatment next spring. So 20 bucks, and that's, that's the whole deal. The other great thing about formic acid is it's actually certified organic. So it's a, it's a naturally occurring chemical that's already in honey. Um, it's not lipophilic, meaning that it does not cling to fats. Uh, so the formic acid does not stay in the hive when you're done. It does, it's not like a pesticide that you put in your hive and then it, it will seep into the honey, seep into the wax or anything like that. This doesn't do that. It does its job, it kills the varroa, and then it basically evaporates. It turns into, I think, carbon monoxide and evaporates out the hive, and that's it. You do the treatment, and it doesn't stick around in the hive after. The other great thing about formic acid, as opposed to oxalic acid, is the formic acid gets into the capped cells, and it gets into the larvae that are being attacked by the mites. Oxalic acid does not permeate through into through the caps and into the cells. That's why you have to do oxalic acid three times. You have to tr the, the life cycle of the larva and the egg is, is about three weeks. So you have to do a treatment and it kills all the mites that are already out of the cells. Then you do another treatment a week later to kill the mites that have hatched during the past week. And then on the third week you do one more treatment to kill all the mites that hatched since you did the first treatment. So you have to do three different treatments of the oxalic acid. The Mite Away Quick Strips is one time and it goes right into the cells, it kills all the Varroa, and then it's over. Those are the main benefits. The simplicity of use, the cost, the fact that it doesn't stick around and it's organic, and the other thing is that uh, it goes into the cells. Now there are drawbacks to Mite Away Quick, quick Strips, and the number one thing is that you can kill bees and you can kill brood. However, uh, the reason that that usually happens is when it gets too hot and the outside temperature is too hot. If it's over 90 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, the acid is too strong in the hive and it's, you know, it, the bees just can't take it anymore and they're either going to fly away or they're going to get killed. It can possibly kill the queen, but again, that's related to temperature. So the thing about quick strips is you have to use them in a very specific window of temperature. 
The reason it's kind of late for me, it's September 10th right now, and the reason I'm doing it this late is because we've had a couple days that hit 90 this week. And I didn't want to have the strips in there when the temperature hit 90 because there's a risk of killing bees. So right now we are under 80 degrees Fahrenheit and it's going to stick around in the 70s Fahrenheit all week. So it's the perfect week to be hitting them right now. So the main drawback for using the quick strips is the temperature problem and the possibility of killing bees. But because of the temperature right now, I think I'm out of that danger zone and we're going to be okay. All right, so let's get into the actual treatment itself using the quick strips.